And actually, if we're 20% down up until now, till the end of May, that's pretty good. And he is right. External EU border, 30% up. And, and you know, the central med route quadrupled in, in the first three months. So, four months. So, so that's an awful lot of people getting into the Schengen yes, zone, yes. but they're not all getting across the English Channel Tony, and arriving I, here. I, I, rarely I disagree with you, but I think to say the numbers are three, three and a half times higher crossing the med, but it's not happening here is a good thing. I think this is a fool's argument. What it means is the numbers coming into Europe are going through the roof and many of them will be headed for this country. So no, I, I don't agree with you at all on that. And I promise you, it wasn't just May in which the weather was bad. It was March for almost the whole of the month. Barely a boat came. So look, you know, whether it's 40,000, 50,000, 80,000, I've no idea. You've no idea. We were expecting a very big number. But, I mean, come back in, come back in a fortnight <laughs> after this calm weather. And that's why I think he chose to go today. I think, I think they know the calmer weather is coming. With the Albanians, we have made some progress. And, 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 and fair is fair. So how has he been allowed to deport people back to Albania? So they've been working on Albania for a long time. There's been a task force in Albania, Nigel, which has involved us having people, border force officers over there, helping them, really, to train them, build capacity there. And actually, now, in my experience, and I've worked with lots of different border agents, they used to represent us at Frontex when we were in the yeah. EU, and, and actually there is a common purpose amongst border... Operationally, nobody really likes people smugglers or, or international organisations, but they don't all have the capacity. So I think there has been some real outreach to Albania to help help them to work and build, you know, better borders, better systems themselves, good collaboration. And the key, which I've said to you before, to all of this is returns. We have to start returning people because up until recently, we weren't removing anybody who was coming by small boat. We have now, all right, it's only 1,800 and you can say, well, there's thousands that haven't gone. Well, there's 12,800 12, have it, skipped it, bail it, it, and are on the run. Indeed, Nigel, but we never, we've never been able to remove all the illegal immigrants that come in my 40 years experience. That's never happened. It is about being able to get removals going and get that message out there mm. to people who want to come, who are thinking about it, who are on TikTok, looking up the possibilities of paying 5,000 euros to get in a boat from Calais to Dover to find yourself back in Tirana. Why up the odds? Is it better off actually trying somewhere else in the EU to stay there? What they're really betting their boots on, of course, this government is Rwanda. That's the real yes. trigger for me, because, yes. as you know, that case is still in the Court of Appeal. It's been in the courts for a very long time now. If the Home Office ever <coughs> get the authorities and the Border Force ever get the author legal authorities they need to put people on flights to Rwanda, I think that's huge for them.